Hey y'all, today we're going to be doing a bonus reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. And this is going to be for February 2022. The first card out is going to be the mutual energy between you and the person that's on your mind. And I've pre-shuffled all the decks I'm going to be using before I started to save time too. Then I'm going to read the left side as your energy and the right side as their energy. Since it's general, you can always swap it around if you think that'll make it fit better for you. And this is going to be for Gemini, a bonus for February 2022. The mutual energy between you and this person is the world card. All right. I don't want to say a whole lot till I see what else. Okay. You got the five of cups and the death. They got the three of pentacles with the king of wands in the reverse. So I do feel like this is saying that whatever has been happening between you and this person, it is probably got you kind of hurt. You may not be letting anybody know that, but you do feel kind of hurt and sad about it. But you are trying to allow this thing to die. This is something that has been going on for a long time because something that you just have to allow it to die and it slowly dies with the death card being there in the upright. It's not that you technically want to do that. You still feel an intense connection to this person because you're hurt over the fact that you're doing it, but you're allowing this to end. And the reason why I feel like you're allowing it to end is because this person has the three of pentacles with the king of wands in the reverse. This is someone who is okay with talking to multiple people because they don't take shit serious. They're like in that player energy. They don't have time to actually form committed solid relationships. They're more focused on building with multiple people and not taking nothing serious. And I feel like you want to level up in your life. So that's why you got this world card coming out at the beginning of the spread. It's like, what this story is telling me is something that has been happening, but you are tired of this same situation going over and over. And it's like, you're ready to take a stand. You're sad about it, but you're ready to take a stand and allow this shit to end. All right. You got the Empress card in the upright with the four of pentacles they got the eight of pentacles in the reverse with the hangman in the reverse so they're very narrow-minded they feel like they shouldn't have to put in equal work on this situation because they're in that player energy so they are very narrow-minded in the fact that they feel like the way to go is to be a player from the himalaya and go to multiple people because you can't look at it any other way. With the Three of Pentacles and the King of Wands, that is someone that doesn't take this shit serious at all. You're working on growing yourself, expanding, evolving, and turning into a freaking empress. And you're holding back, trying to get your stability with that Four of Pentacles. It's like, I don't feel like you're holding on to this person. I feel like you're just trying to kind of hold back from this person and focus on becoming stable. The number four is a number of stability. All right, you've got the four of wands in the reverse and the ace of wands in the reverse. They have the justice card in the reverse with the nine of cups in the upright. With the Nine of Cups being in the upright, I love the Nine of Cups card, but with all the other cards that are around it, this is this person willing to do whatever to get their wishes met, to get what they want met. The, what they want is multiple situations with this Three of Pentacles and the King of Wands in the reverse. Multiple whatever kind of situations. This is someone who has like multiple booty call people and they're okay with that. And if you catch them, then they're probably going to try to sweet talk their way out of it, but they're not going to do any different. This is this kind of person. But they got the justice in the reverse with the nine of cups. So as long as they get what they want, they don't care if it's an imbalanced give and take. They're not going to do that even give and take. They're not willing to work on a situation, not just a single situation. I do feel like you probably did have emotions for this person, but you're starting to learn that you've got to value yourself more than to allow someone like this to pull you down because they're not willing to do what they need to do to level up. Let's just see what kind of action this person might take towards you during the month of February for Gemini. 
we're just going to get like five action cards. The main action card will be the first card out, and then we'll just get some supporting cards around it. But this person, a king of wands in the reverse, if you've watched tarot very long, then you know what a king of wands in the reverse is. Somebody that's got multiple people. Those kind of people that name this person um, one of their friends from work. They give them a fake name in their phone so they can sit there and text you text them right in front of you they would literally laugh about that to their buddies or some shit people like that all right the higher font card is in the reverse as far as their main action page of cups two of pinnacles in the reverse king of wands four of cups yes they're not willing to do anything that's around a commitment they're not willing to offer a commitment they may offer some flirty little message towards you with this page of cups they may even apologize to you. But they've already made their decision in the past with the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. They are going to stay in this King of Wands energy and nothing is ever good enough for them for them to be able to stay with just one person. King of Wands, Four of Cups. This is someone that no matter what you try to give to them, they have some kind of void or emptiness within themselves. So one single connection is not going to meet their needs because they're not wired that way. They don't want to do that. They don't want to settle down with just one person. They would rather have multiple people. And yes, you may hear from this person. That may be why you came across this reading. Just know they've already made their decision in the past to stay in King of Wands energy. They may communicate, but it's going to be a page of cups some kind of little flirty something or a sorry, I'm sorry for that or whatever, but just like a, a little bitty message accompanied with no change behavior. So just know that. Their action is going to be possibly a little bitty message accompanied with no change behavior. Let me just say it again in case the people in the back didn't hear. A little flirty ass message accompanied by no changed behavior all right that just wanted to flip all right so your advice page of pinnacles in the reverse four of wands in the reverse eight of wands nine of pinnacles in the reverse all right so some people could be dealing with an earth sign i don't know why i feel that because i know i kept seeing king of wands but either earth or fire because there's a lot of fire here too. In fact, I don't see any cups. The only cups I've really seen in this reading was that page of cups, which is that card of an immature energy trying to sorry their way back in just so they can keep you as a notch on the belt. You know what I mean? All right, so the advice here is to close the door on this situation. This situation, you need to close the door on it. That's the universe saying, the universe wants you to close the door. And if you don't do it, then the universe will probably do it for you in some kind of way. Go after whatever lights your fire with the Ace of Wands. Go after new things that lights your fire, okay? And as far as the Eight of Wands here, I feel like that is just saying, talk to new people. But keep it on a surface level. I don't see anything here about pursuing any kind of commitment, but even if it's just platonic people, talk to new people that you have never really interacted with before. That way you can get an idea of new kind of people you might want to interact with. It has to have nothing to do with romance. Focus on new everything because the Ace of Swords is at the bottom. So there's two Aces right here together with the Eight of Wands. So if you want good, fast, positive movement in your life, Focus on new beginnings and let this person, you know, just be appreciative of what this person has taught you about what you don't want. All right, Gemini, that's been your energy check-in for the month of February, and thank you so much for watching.